Hello kabayan, mag abroad ka ba? Alam mo ba na may binabayaran na travel tax sa airport? Abay opo, pero wag ka pong mag-alala dahil pag-uusapan natin ngayon ang tungkol dito. Ano nga ba ang travel tax at bakit mayroon tayo nito? Ang Tourism Infrastructure and Enterprise Zone Authority or TIEZA o dating kilala bilang Philippine Tourism Authority na isang ahensya ng ating gobyerno sa ilalim ng Department of Tourism ay responsable sa pagpapatupad ng mga patakaran at programa na nauukol sa pagpapaunlad, pagsulong at pangangasiwa ng mga proyekto sa turismo ng Pilipinas. Dahil dito, sila lamang ang tanging ahensya na maaring mangulekta ng buwi sa paglalakbay o travel tax sa lahat ng mga Pilipino na palabas ng Pilipinas ayon sa Presidential Decree 1183. 50% ng nalilikom ng travel taxes ay tinatabi ng TIEZA para sa mga proyekto nito at 40% naman ay inilalaan sa Commission on Higher Education or CHED para sa mga programa at kursong pang edukasyon na may kaugnay sa turismo. Samantala, ang 10% nito ay napupunta sa National Commission for Culture and Arts or NCCA. Sino ang dapat magbayad ng travel tax at magkano ito? Ang rate ng travel tax ay ayon sa reason for traveling, flight seat class at relationship ng traveler sa isang overseas worker or OFW. May tinatawag tayo na travel tax exemption, privilege reduced travel tax, standard reduced travel tax at full travel tax. Travel tax exemption. Ayon sa section number 2 ng Presidential Decree 1183, exempted sa travel tax ang lahat ng overseas Filipino workers or OFWs, mga bata na may edad na dalawa pababa at mga Pilipinong may permanent residency sa ibang bansa o mga balikbayan na magbabakasyon ng panandalian lamang o hindi aabot ng isang taon. Maliban dito, exempted din ang mga foreign diplomatic and consular officials, United Nations employees, U.S. military personnel including their dependents where fares are paid for by the U.S. government or on U.S. charter transport facilities, Philippine government official on official business, Philippine foreign service personnel officially assigned abroad and their dependents, personnel and dependents of multinational companies with regional headquarters in the Philippines but not engaged in business, crew members of an international flight, family members of a former Filipino, bona fide government scholars, government-funded trips, and those authorized by the President of the Republic of the Philippines for reasons of national interest. Privilege Produced Travel Tax Ito ang binibigay na privilege sa mga dependent ng isang OFW na patungo sa kinaroonan nito. Eligible sa Privilege Reduced Travel Tax ang mga legitimate spouse or legal na asawa, unmarried legitimate or illegitimate children ng OFW na may edad na 21 pababa at mga may kapansanan na anak ng isang OFW regardless kung minor ito o hindi. Para sa mga naka-first class seats, 400 pesos ang fee while sa mga naka-economy class naman ay 300 pesos. Standard Reduced Travel Tax Ang travel tax naman na ito ay para sa mga minor de edad, more than 2 years old to 12 years old, accredited Filipino journalist on official assignment, and those who are authorized by the President of the Republic Philippines for reasons of national interest. Ang rate naman nito ay 1,350 pesos kapag first class seat and 810 pesos naman kapag economy. Full travel tax Basically, lahat ng Filipino citizen na hindi nabanggit earlier, mga taxable foreign passport holders and non-immigrant foreign passport holders who have stayed in the Philippines for more than one year. So kasama dito ang mga nakatemporary visit, transit visa, tourist or non-visa required national admitted for 21 days, foreign seaman, treaty, trader and investors, foreign government official, foreign student, pre-arranged employees, special non-immigrant visa, refugees, APEC business travel, special investor resident visa, special retired resident visa and dependent, at balikbayan who wish to stay in the Philippines for more than one year at iba pa. For the full travel tax rate, ang mga naka-first class seat ay kailangan magbayad ng 2,700, samantala ang naka-economy class naman ay 1,620 pesos. Ano-ano naman ang mga requirements sa pagbabayad ng travel tax? Lahat ng traveler ay kailangan ipresenta ang kanilang original passport at airline ticket. Pero para ma-avail ang privilege ng tax reduction and exemption, may additional requirements na kailangan ipresenta. Case-to-case basis po ito. Kaya na lang kung OFW, if hired via POEA, kailangan ipresenta ang OEC or Overseas Employment Certificate to avail the travel tax exemption. Kapag directly hired naman, ang Certificate of Employment issued by the Philippine Consulate kung saan bansa siya nagtatrabaho or employment contract duly authenticated by the Philippine Consulate naman ang isa-submit to avail the exemption. 
Kung ikaw naman ay dependent or asawa o anak ng isang OFW, maaari mong gamitin ng Overseas Employment Certificate ng inyong sponsor to avail the Privilege Travel Tax. In this case, maaari nilang hingin ang copy ng marriage certificate kung asawa at birth certificate naman kapag anak. Take note po sa mga seafarers na nagnanais imbatahan ang kanilang dependents, don't forget to obtain a certification from your agency stating that the Siemens dependent is joining the Siemens vessel. Now here is the list of special cases and the additional requirements needed. Kung hanggang ngayon ay nakatuon ka pa rin sa video na ito, huwag kalimutan na mag-like, share, and subscribe para maging updated ka sa ating mga future post. So ngayon, saan naman magbabayad ng travel tax? May apat na paraan ng pagbabayad ng travel tax. Una is through travel tax service center sa malls and provincial offices. Pangalawa ay sa airport via travel tax counters. At pangatlo is online via TESA. And pangapat ay online din from my EG website. Para sa tutorial ng online payment ng travel tax, I will put the link in the description box or click the link card above to redirect you to the video. Now here is the list of the travel tax centers. So ayun po guys, feel free to take a screenshot of these locations for your future use. If you like to see more informative videos such as these, do support my channel by being part of the MQ community for as low as 49 pesos. Be an active member and let your thoughts and voice be heard. See you in my next video. Bye!